Hello everyone, this is a video request about how, as a 5 million might player, I was able to rank in the KVK event recently. So, the good news is, stealing banners is actually pretty easy, and holding onto them actually isn't that bad either. The, the trick is basically just looking for good targets. What will happen is, you know, some of your clan members who are more powerful will launch a portal to a different kingdom, you basically just follow that portal, and so, obviously, the event is over, but let's just give you an overview of how you could, as an example, look for things. So let's say that a powerful clan member opened up a portal in K82, it's right next to us. Uh, they're not in our league right now, but, you know, for example's sake, let's just say the portal was right on the edge of this clan right here. So what you would do is you would click on a player... You would check to see, okay, this guy has his banner. Now, obviously, right now, everybody has their banners because the event is over. But with the with the portal there, you could then click on Scout, send a captain, and one low-tier scout. Most of these smoking cities will have no troops, and most of them actually also have no scouts available. So it's possible to scout with almost nothing. And what you're doing is you're looking for players, even if they are bigger than you. Uh, this guy's not, but if, you know someone had a level 30, 34 city um, and they had a lot more might than you, but there's a chance that their troops are all dead. Uh, they've got them stashed in a tower. Um, as long as it's not an Alric you're attacking, it's very easy to scout at very low cost. You know, the cost of one captain and one spy. Get the information, find a good target, steal their banner. So what'll happen is when you've got that one portal, you've got a bunch of clan members attacking, uh, you're not the only person attacking, and so there's a lot of stuff going on, and these guys, they may not even be online, but if they are, they'll have a harder time responding with so many attacks coming in. You can find some smaller targets and pick them off. Uh, it's worth doing, even if you don't rank, simply because it doesn't take long of holding a few banners, and you've got enough points. So then the question is, okay, I've got some banners here. How do I actually hold on to those banners? Well, uh, the number one tip is switching your hero over to Alric. Uh, what Alric does is he makes it so the default march time on your hero, no matter how close they are, is four hours. That means using maximum speed ups of the basic speed ups makes it a seven minute attack time. That is sufficient time for allies to be able to reinforce. Uh, if you're online for you to notice the attack coming in, you can request reinforcements. You can move your city. Uh, if someone is launching on your city, and you move the city to a new location, the attack just goes poof. You can have a clan superior, if you're not online, kick you out of clan territory. Uh, there's a few different things that can be done to try and avoid that, but the best thing is to be running Alric and request reinforcements, and reinforcements are extremely powerful. Uh, unless it's a clan march from a very powerful clan, if you have five, six players reinforcing you, you will beat players that are massive might. Uh, reinforcements, sometime we'll go over this, but extremely powerful because it adds a lot of stacks. And if you've seen my other videos on stacking, uh, stacking is the most powerful mechanic in the game to defeat a larger army. So those are the basics. Um, you know, go get a few banners, get the basic points. And if you can collect banners to the points where you have 30, 40, 50 banners, and you can hold that for a day and a half, you'll have enough points to rank. Uh, it worked for me. I was one of the lowest might players at that level in COT. There are a few others, and our clan did very well for ourselves because we worked together. Again, the principles, a big, powerful player opens a portal. Everybody else jumps on that. You steal as many banners as you can, and you get out. And then you bunker up by being Alric. And uh, if you're not Alric, you will lose the banners very easily. When players are looking for targets... They see, hey, this guy has six banners. He's not running Alric. He's only this much might. I can drop a giant army on his face. He can't stop me. And it'll only take 30 seconds for that army to arrive. Uh, 30 seconds just isn't enough time to defend properly or respond. So you will just straight up lose them. But if you're able to go to Alric, then you have a lot of options at your disposal.